Sunday, 8 15 2021. Today, we're installing Windows 11 on a ThinkPad X270. Number one, go to Google and type in download Windows 11 ISO. You'll probably find this Tom's Hardware article that will tell you how to do it. Basically, you go on this website, uupdump.net, and you select the latest dev channel build for the platform that you're looking for. I'm picking X64, but technically there's a way to run it on a Raspberry Pi. We're going to be downloading this and selecting just Windows 10 Pro and next and sure go ahead and install the .NET and do some cleanup and it's set to download and convert to ISO so we click down create download package and it downloads and then inside of there you want to find the up download Windows command file double click on that guy and it's com gonna complain and so you say more information and you say run anyway and then this thing runs for a while I forgot to mention you were supposed to uh, extract it to a folder first and then run it um, but once you run it it runs for like I don't know an hour or so you'll have an ISO file and then you can take that ISO file run your handy Rufus application plug in your old Windows 10 installation disk select the ISO from the download that you created and click start and then don't forget to update your labeling say goodbye to Windows 10 shut down your computer And plug in your flash drive. Now, for this next step, may, it may vary from computer to computer. I happen to know that hitting the enter button interrupts the normal start process. And I'm asked, what do I want to do? So I'm going to say F12 to select a temporary boot disk. And there's my USB SAN disk. Now it's booting off of the flash drive. Well, it doesn't look like much has changed here. So we'll select United States because that's where we're at. And we'll click install now. Come on, buddy. Now, because this had Windows 10 on it, what I actually want to do is erase everything. So if you're at this point, you're going to lose everything that's already on this laptop. Just keep that in mind. Uh, if you follow this exact steps that I go through. So I'm going to say accept and I'm going to do a custom install. And basically that just allows me to make one modification here. I'm going to select these and I'm going to click delete on all of the partitions because I want to, I want to delete the old Windows 10 stuff and I don't need anything else. If you aren't comfortable doing this, then don't do it. You can stop. You know, it's always good to have a backup of all your information and everything. All right, we're gonna let it uh, install. Wow, that was uh, about two minutes. And we're booting again. First time booting Windows 11. What's it doing? Oh, it's rebooting again. I wish they'd changed the startup animation. Would have made it more exciting. Just a moment. We're getting things ready for you. Ooh, fanciness. 
All right. Yes, I will use the English keyboard. We don't want a second keyboard. Sorry about the screen flicker there. Actually, I want the one right here. Already check in for updates. Let's name your PC, so X270. Keep it uh, simple. Probably more rebooting. Another reboot. Okie dokie. I'm going to say set up for personal use. And let's see if we can skip signing into Windows. Offline account. Skip for now. Bob. Bob always uses my computers. And he always uses a super secret password. Now, if there's one thing I hate, it's these stupid questions. Like, if I needed to reset my password, I would use the password reset tool. Or I would just reinstall Windows. Why would I ever fill out these things so that someone could potentially figure out who my what my childhood name is? Stupid. Anywho. Uh, yes, we'll leave every single piece of Microsoft telemetry on. Why not? Let them track me. Hi. Well, hello there, Windows 11. So all in all, I mean, we're probably about 10 minutes into uh, the install, post an hour download, of course. There it is. Uh, great, we're here. Let's get Chrome. Okay, so number one, Edge is saying, don't leave me. Oh, what the hell is this fresh hell? Ugh. Get out of the way, you stupid Edge thing. I'm done. I'm not going to use you, Edge. Take me back to my download page. Download... Chrome. Download now. I mean, the new Edge is fairly usable, but it's not what I want. I just want the same experience. This is just a glorified browser in my mind. Yes, much better. What about customizing this? Oh, there's no right click? Yes, there is. Taskbar settings. Ugh. We don't want widgets. We don't want chat. We don't want the task view. We don't want search. Um, let's see. Ugh. 
my touch driver's not installed yet. Um, what else do we want? A virtual touchpad, we don't need that. We don't need a pen. Corner overflow, choose which icons may appear in the taskbar corner. All others will appear in the corner overflow menu. Behaviors. All right, let's make it normal again. Left. Oh, thank you. Select the far corner to show the desktop. Yep, show badges. Unread messages counter on taskbar apps. Sure. Now, now it just looks like a regular Windows install. I mean, File Explorer looks the same except with different colors. Uh, let's see if they've removed some of the traditional management can you still get to the control panel? The standard way, control panel, and it looks exactly the same with different icons. Uh, what about, can I run a command by hitting start? So sysdm.cpl should bring up the system dialog. Yay, they didn't break it. Um, so this is how I usually go about manually joining a machine to a domain. Um, let's do ncpa.cpl. Beautiful, that works. Just like normal, go into your network connections. Um, well, that's quite convenient. I think all they've changed is the colors. Let's personalize it, make it pretty. Let's go with... Uh, this darker theme, that looks nice. And let's see, can we get rid of notifications and action settings the same way? Uh, no, we don't want any notifications. And notifications from apps, they're all gone. Get rid of suggestions and tips. And what? settings are do we want we actually don't want any any notifications at all so i think that's we'll see if we can disable that or not um but but up but up there's like a little moon down here what does the moon mean clear all of these Interesting. Is that the phase of the moon? There's the menu now. Can we modify that? I'm gonna add stuff to it. Oh, I'm gonna add features like night light or screencasting or sharing files or projecting or mobile hotspot. I won't need any of those. That's kind of cool. Get into that yellowy mode. Battery saver, airplane mode, Bluetooth wireless. There's our wireless menu. Um, adjust date and time. So right now it is 11.34, so that's fine. Yeah, this is great. It, it already even figured out where I was at. And if I do updates, Windows update. Oh, it's detected all of my Lenovo things. So we'll go ahead and do all those. Ah, oh, good, the touchpad driver. This is beautiful, it's just picking up everything. And it looks like we gotta restart. More updates.
More rebooting. And that's Windows 11. Windows 11 Pro, 21H2. Well, that's slightly suspicious because that's the same. Is that not the same thing as 10? Uh, no, I'm running 20H2 on this other one. Windows 11, woo! Subscribe.